Hello. About two weeks ago I posted a video about growing carrots. Growing carrots in these 10 inch water buckets. That's how I do it at home grown veg. And I've had a number of successes over the years. And in the video I posted a couple of weeks back, I cut in some video from previous years that shows me harvesting carrots. Uh, so there's the proof that it actually works. And the reason I posted that video was to give you the opportunity to get your hands on some of these. Carrot sewing template. 30 holes, 30 carrots. Imagine, if you will, 30 holes, 30 carrots. So you know exactly how many carrot seeds you're sewing. These are the paper templates that you can get absolutely free. Absolutely free. And I gave you a link on that video to enable you to do that. You make your paper templates and you simply pop your paper template over a 10 inch pizza base if you're growing in 10 inch buckets. If you're growing in um, 5 gallon buckets it's probably a 12 inch pizza base. These polystyrene pizza bases. You simply put your template over it, poke a pencil through it and this is what you finish up with. A template with 30 stations for sowing seeds through. 55 seeds if you want to go for 55. Just 19 if you want to go for 19. Uh, but the reason we're using these templates is to space the seeds out in the bucket so that every carrot gets the same amount of room to grow in. So we get no shoulder to shoulder carrots. Right, so what's the purpose of this video today? Okay, well one thing I didn't talk about uh, in the previous videos was germination. Now it's around about zero degrees today, so we're only just above freezing. These seeds are not going to germinate in those sorts of temperatures. They're not going to want to grow. Um, so we'll leave it a little longer before we sow some seeds. But one of the things you can do with your template, if you've got your template, and if you haven't got your template, there'll be a link in this video, um, near the end of the video, that'll tell you how to get it, or there'll be a link in the text. If you've got your templates, and you've got your seeds, all we're waiting for now is the weather to warm up a little bit, isn't it? We just need it to be a little bit warmer. But we can actually germinate seeds indoors. Yes we can. We can germinate seeds indoors. But sowing buckets of seeds and then taking them indoors might be out of the question. Particularly if you've got several buckets, take up so much room. But what if you could germinate these seeds without needing to take the bucket indoors. Then bring the germinated seeds outdoors and plant them up in a bucket. What if you could do that? Well, you can. You definitely can. You don't have to. Now, if I look at the back of, the, of these two packets, the text is very similar. Basically, what they're saying is two to three weeks for germination. That's 14 to 21 days after you sow your seeds, you'll actually see a seedling. Well, watch this video and check out how long it actually takes for these seeds to germinate on a damp tissue indoors. And you could germinate 50 or 100 seeds, if you like, in a container not much bigger than the packet. So why would you do that? 
why would you want to pre-germinate your seeds when you just sow them in the usual way? Well, because you've got that template and you know how many seeds you're going to sow, if you could pre-germinate them and put a pre-germinated seed in at every station, you'd be reasonably confident that a carrot will be produced at that station. The seed's germinated, what's to stop it? What's to stop it? Now if you don't do that, um, if you simply sow your seeds and then you wait two to three weeks, some of them may not show. And if they don't show, that's two to three weeks lost growing time, isn't it? Two to three weeks lost growing time. Now you needn't lose that growing time. If you pre-germinate your seeds, the only seed going into that bucket is one that's going to grow. It's already growing. So you know you're going to get a full bucket. If you've decided you would be happy with 30 carrots in your bucket, then sow 30 pre-germinated seeds and you'll get 30 carrots in so many months time, barring any mishaps. And if you think 30 is too many, so 19. And if you think 19 isn't enough or 30 isn't enough, go 55. It's your choice. It's your choice. But sowing pre-germinated seeds gives you a better chance of a pot full of home-grown delicious carrots. And once they've germinated, transfer them into your buckets using your polystyrene template. Anyway, I've talked enough now. I'm going to cut you to a video that I've done last year that explains everything. Um, enjoy the video. Enjoy the birds. Forget about all the worries in the world, and there are lots of them. Forget about those. Concentrate on your carrots. Concentrate on gardening. Fill your mind with gardening. Forget all that other stuff that's going on out there. Stay in your garden. Stay safe. Plant some carrots. Hello. Today I'm going to be sowing some carrot seeds. And I'm going to be sowing them on damp tissue. And I'm doing that because I want to try and give these carrot seeds a fast start. Look at any packet of carrot seeds, in fact look at any packet of seeds, vegetable seeds, and you'll find that germination usually takes between 14 and 21 days. Now if you've grown carrots and you've planted seeds, I'm betting you're popping your head over the top of that pot every day or every other day and it just takes forever before you actually see anything. Uh, so what I'm hoping to do is to speed up that process. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to wet this tissue using this water spray. Okay. And we'll see if we can beat that 14 to 21 days for germination. Right, I'm just going to put a little water in this bottle top. Don't need a lot. And I'm going to use a matchstick to pick up carrot seeds. I'm going to use this piece of slate and I'm just going to put some carrot seeds on here and hopefully you should be able to see them better. Have you got your carrot seeds sown? Are they through? <laughs> or are you popping your head over that pot every day? <laughs> I think I've told you before, stop it! You're frightening the carrots! Blimey! <laughs> right. Okay, we'll just spread these out a wee bit. 
and I'll offer this up to the camera and hopefully you'll see them a bit better oh <laughs> I think we've got a bumblebee in the greenhouse with us and I'm not stopping now there are the carrot seeds okay I'm going to lift this slate up to let you see how easy this is but then I'll put it back down again watch a wet matchstick come on how easy was that in fact now I'm going to keep this slate in my hand it's, it's working really well so all we're going to do is pop these carrot seeds on this damp tissue put the lid back on it take it indoors Right, I'm going to stop talking now, play some music, enjoy. Okay, nearly finished I'm not sure how many we've got in here I've just kept dabbing away um, but there'll certainly be enough to plant a 10 inch water bucket and there'll probably be enough to plant two 10 inch water buckets that's providing these seeds germinate okay now I'm just going to give them one final spray and we'll put the lid on and we'll see how they go okay I'll check these guys out in a few days time
third seeds have been on this damp tissue inside this plastic box now for about five days. Um, let's have a look at them. Let's see if we've got any germination after five days. Wow! <laughs> can you see that? I hope you can. There looks to be a lot of germination in there. There's lots of white tails and green shoots. Can you see that? Now the problem you have using this method is that these are very small and, and can be difficult to pick up. I'm going to use a screwdriver, a very small screwdriver, but you can use a pencil, you can use anything with a, a small end on it just to get under them and hook them up. Now I'll do that now, but because these are so small and because they're light, they're difficult to see. What I'm going to do is move this out of shot now, move these polystyrenes out of shot and show you these on a darker background. Okay, let me just put these down here. Right, polystyrene 10 inch pizza base with 19 evenly spaced holes punched in it with pencil. Okay, they look accurate don't they? And that's because they are accurate. And they're accurate because I used a template. And I'm going to tell you how to get that template. If you want a template to make one of these from a 10 inch pizza base that fits perfectly in a 10 inch water bucket, I'm going to tell you how to get them. If you're growing in 5 gallon buckets, you'll need a 12 inch pizza base. And there's also a template for that. And I've got a range of these now. This one would allow me to sow 19 seeds equally spaced. This one would allow me to sow 30 seeds equally spaced. And this one would allow me to sow 37 seeds equally spaced. This is the one we're going to use, 37 seeds. So we're going to sow 37 pre-germinated carrot seeds in this 10 inch water bucket. And this is a base of a 10 inch pizza with no holes in it and I've used this to firm down the surface of this compost. Okay. I wet this earlier today but I'm going to give it another spray because it's important when you're sowing seeds it's important when you're sowing seeds that you get some dampness in there if things are wet actually I've been cutting the lawn today and this was standing out and there's little pieces of grass on here that look like carrots coming through but I can assure you they're not small pieces of grass in fact they're so small I'm not too sure if you can see them but I can see them uh, and I don't want those to be misleading okay so we've got this wet and we're going to sow 37 evenly spaced pre-germinated carrot seeds and this is how we're going to do it we're going to make a, a small depression in the surface of that compost through all these holes then we're going to remove this then we're going to sow a seed in every one of them so if I do this one first and I'll push this through about half an inch if I do that one first put my finger over it and just work my way around like that I'm hoping that when I take this template off that you will be able to see where I'm going to be planting these seeds that's it that's all them done right let's go around this in the circle this doesn't take long. I've got to tell you what, 
those seeds coming through as quickly as they have, germinating as quickly as quickly as they have, that is fast. I mean that is fast compared to what it says on the packet. Yeah, it really is. And it'll give you the confidence if you do it this way that the seeds you're going to sow in this bucket, in your bucket, will grow because they're germinated. The only thing that'll stop them is that uh, if you let them dry out, basically, if you keep them moist, they will grow. Oh, hello, that looks okay. Are you getting that or not? Let me just tilt this away a bit just in case you're not. 37 holes, come on. Let me just. There's a couple of these that seem to have collapsed in a bit. Oops. Put that down there like that. Yep. 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 Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're happy with those. Right. Let's sow some seeds. Let me just pick one of these out and show you it against a dark background. Hey, how's that? Come on, you can see that. That's a carrot seed that's germinated. All I'm going to do is pop it in a hole like this. Tail down. Close that hole up. How's that? Now we won't put a second seed in that hole because it's closed up. We can see it's closed up. How about that? Put that one in there like that. Close that one up. Right. What I'm going to do now is um, have another uh, 35 of these to sow. You've seen me sow two. I'm just going to stop talking and crack on. Listen to this music, you'll enjoy it.
Well, that didn't take long, did it? Do you enjoy that music? Okay, what we're going to do now is we're just going to wet this a bit more with this 37 pre germinated carrot seeds in the 10 inch water bucket. Let's see how they go. Okay, let's see how these uh, carrots are getting on. They were five days on a wet tissue and they've been four days sun in a water bucket now. So nine days ago these carrots were carrot seeds. Now they're carrot seedlings. These are the carrot seedlings and they you'd have to say nine days ago they were just seeds. This is fast. This is fast. Um, we can't see 37 yet. We saw 37. Can you recall? Um, there are some just starting to break the surface. They've still all just got their um, seed leaves. This one's just breaking. This one's just breaking. They've still all uh, just got the seed leaves for day nine days. Come on, the packet says it tick and take between. 14 and 21 days for the seeds to germinate after nine days we've got carrot seedlings hey how good is that how good is that <laughs> Now I've got a pot of uh, carrots behind me that I sowed using exactly the same method and again 37 carrot uh, seeds put in the pot and we're on 18 days now so 18 days since we planted the carrots that I'm going to show you now this is what they look like so 18 days ago, they were carrot seeds. Let me show you this. They look a bit bigger, don't they? Just one or two of them starting with the true leaves true carrot leaves just getting big enough to produce a carrot leaf as you would recognize it as opposed to these seed leaves here's one just breaking through look a, a tail end charlie but hey, i'm going to get 37 in there in fact what i did um i planted some of these i actually put 37 in using that template but i sowed one or two close to the edge of this bucket um, because this is a white see-through bucket inside sat inside a black bucket why am I doing that well it's just a little experiment really I've not done this before but what I'm hoping to do is to be able to lift this white bucket out of this black bucket and for you to be able to see carrots growing down the bucket 
and that's why I've sewn some very close to the edge. I wouldn't normally do that, but it's just an experiment and I don't know if it'll work. Um, and if you want to know if it'll work, you'll need to stay with me on this one. It'll be an, another few months before we've got carrots ready to harvest. So it'll be another few months before we can take this white bucket out of this black bucket and have a look. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? There's always something to look forward to if you plant a garden. Plant a garden, you've always got something to look forward to. Um, did you enjoy those starlings? Did you? Did you? Did, did you enjoy the uh, sparrow cleaning itself, having a dust bath, and the wood pigeons that are visiting the garden? I think that's because we're in lockdown. There aren't as many cars zooming about, and there aren't as many people about. Um, so I'm getting more visitors from birds. So that's a, that's a plus, isn't it? That's a plus. Now just before I go, um, I'm going to tell you how to get one of those templates, if you want one. Um, and I'm also going to say a little bit more about those starlings. Okay, right, the templates. The templates are produced on a website called Abroth's World. Abroth's World. Abroth has produced those for us and they're free and they're downloadable. If you can get to his website, you can download a template that will enable you to make one of those polystyrene templates. Hey, how good is that? And it's free. It's free. I'm going to give you a link in the text below this video. So if you've got this far, you haven't far to go, then go to the text below this video, find that link, click on it, and you'll be on Abroth's world. Now when you're there, uh, I would ask you to do two things. Firstly, uh, tell him Homegrown Veg sent you, and secondly, thank him for providing that free template. Would you do that for me? And you may also want to actually have a look at some of his videos. He's got a short video on there, Growing Carrots. That's worth a look. I think that was his first bucket of carrots ever. Have a look at that. Hey, you could grow these carrots. You could. Abroth did. I am. You can. It's not that difficult. Um, and before I sign out, just those starlings, one last thing. Most people only actually see starlings, uh, glimpse them. They're very fast in flight. And if you've seen those big flocks of birds in the sky that wheel and tumble, uh, usually at uh, dusk, uh, that's a murmuration of starlings, or it could be a murmuration of starlings. If you've seen them, they're a small black bird. No, they're not. They're anything but a small black bird. And you only get a chance to appreciate that if you're up close. And we've just been up close in that bird bath. But what we really need to do is slow the action down. So I'm going to slow that action down, check out the colours in those starlings. They're iridescent. Iridescent. Or is it candescent? Well, they're some descent. They're absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Get your free templates. Get sowing some carrots. In about 18 days, this could be you. It doesn't take that long. If it's cold outside, it doesn't matter, do this indoors. As long as you can get these to some light on a windowsill, but reasonably warm. As long as you get the seeds to germinate, you're up and running. As soon as the warm weather comes, move these outdoors. Just be careful when you water them. Don't be heavy handed, you'll wash them out. Just a light touch with these until they get much bigger. Okay. So this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.